So at this point, you have a home page. And now what we'd like to do for the second part is make it where when we're posting blogs in class, they'll show up on our home page. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to create a new page that's called blog postings. If you click on the icon at the top right, remember this one is new page, so select that. And title this page blog postings. Instead of using a web page template, we're going to use one called announcements. Announcements is Google Sites way of uh, referring to blog postings. So click announcements and keep this part selected where it says put page at the top level and click create. Okay, you'll notice that this is now in our navigation bar to the left. It's called blog postings. I don't have a post yet. Um, we will do this in a moment, but first let's go back to our home page. And we're going to insert the, um, or basically have these blog postings feed into this home page. In order to do that, let's, let's set up the format of our page. So if you'll click Edit Page, we're going to change the layout of this particular page. So click on Layout, and we're going to create a new column. Now you can uh, click the two column simple. I happen to like this two column with a place to write on top and at the bottom in case I want to add some other gadgets such as a calendar or have my Twitter feed come in through this page. So I'm going to select that one. Okay. And now you'll notice that we have this other column over here to the right. Okay. And this is where we're going to put our blog postings. So let's go over here to insert. And if you look at some of the gadgets we could put on this page, one says Recent Post. So click Recent Post. And it asks you which announcements page you want to pull from. Well, we only created one, so go ahead and, and keep this selected, Blog Postings. In terms of post length, I would select um, Full Post. We're not going to be blogging all that much, so I think that you can include the full post on this page. I'd also select Include Thumbnail of First Image in Post. In case you decide to include pictures with your blogs, um, it looks really nice to have these imported onto your home page. In terms of the number of posts to display, I would just keep it at five for now. We can change this later. And keep everything else selected and click Save. Okay, and this is where our post will be. Okay, so we're gonna click Save. Now you won't see anything here right now except this recent announcement, and that's because we haven't really posted anything. So let's go back to our blog postings. Okay, and click New Post. One of your first assignments for class is to create a learning story. So we could title this blog, My Learning Story. You're gonna be typing a few paragraphs about a time that you learned not type and talk at the same time, uh, a few paragraphs about a past learning experience. Okay, this could be learning to drive a car, anything really. Um, and so you're going to just give us a nice description of this time that you learned to do something. Maybe something that was really difficult for you, um, where you had to overcome a challenge, maybe something that was easy for you, maybe just an enjoyable experience, or just something that really stands out for you. As soon as you're done typing your learning story, click Save. Okay, and you'll actually see it show up, the title of, of your blog posting, under blog postings. Um, you'll also see a place for uh, attachments and comments. If you wanted to attach something to this page, you could. Um, but leave these two on the page. This way other people can comment on what you wrote. If you go back to your home page, you'll see how it, it took your blog posting and inserted it into your home page. Um, as you type more and more of these, they'll show up on this home page. And this concludes part two of creating a Google site.